Hello guys. Now we are solving lit code number 2265. Count nodes equal to average of subtree. Um, the title seems a little bit mysterious, but let's break it down. It's a medium question. Let's take a read on the description. Given the root of a binary tree, return the number of nodes where the value of the node is equal to the average of the values in its subtree. Note here, the average of n elements is the sum of n elements divided by n and rounded down to the nearest integer. A subtree of root is a tree consisting of root itself and all of its descendants. Example here, for example, uh, four, uh, the sub subtree is four, plus all the descendant nodes. And then they give us uh, an example here on how the algorithm should work. This is the representation of the tree in form of a, an input array. And the expectation for the output is five. And then they tell us how the algorithm should work. For example, for the node with value four, which is the root node, and the average of each subtree is 4 plus h plus 5 plus 0 plus 1 plus 6, which uh, is exactly all the nodes. So we have to traverse the tree, uh, getting all of these values, summing them, then dividing by the number of nodes. In this case, we have six nodes here. Uh, and then uh, we're going to have the value of four um, in the end. Uh, likewise, for all the other uh, subtrees, so it's exactly the same algorithm. One interesting thing is um, if we take a look at bottom up, we can see that we're going to traverse the tree. If you get uh, to uh, the node or to the leaf uh, number six, as a, a uh, given example here, so we don't have left or right. So this is a sole node. Uh, the subtree is only six, and the number of nodes here is one. So six divided by one equals six. So the value is six here. Uh, and then this is one of the candidates. Likewise for one and zero. So as you guys can see, they all fall in the same category here. Once we go uh, up to the tree, we have to carry um, the value from the node and also the number of nodes we have seen so far, so we can uh, let the parent do the calculation as well. Um, as you guys may have noted, noted uh, it uh, this this question asks for uh, a recursive approach because we have to walk down to the tree until the um, the leaf nodes, and then uh, do our calculation. Um, on our way back. So that's uh, going to be exactly the, the, the solution. Let me get to the code here. We're going to use a um, pre-order traversal for the tree. The pre-order traversal, simply, we simply go down to the tree. We go left first, right, and then we process the node. Okay. Um, let me first create a variable here that's going to be count uh, that's going to be the variable uh, where I'm going to store uh, um, all the nodes that uh, match the criteria and then I'm going to start coding my uh, average of subtree here first thing is to test for no it's always important so if they give me an input which is no then uh, I simply return zero because <laughs> there is nothing else I can do. Uh, another thing is never forget the return. It's going to be count. And I'm going to create another method called preorder where I'm going to do um, the calculation. Uh, as I said before, once we get, uh, we get to uh, a given node and as we are recursing, we're going to 
start from, from the bottom up, uh, we have to calculate and then give the result back to, to the parent. Uh, what we need to pass back is basically um, the total that we got for the, for the calculation and also the number of uh, nodes we saw for that subtree. For that, uh, I'm simply going to um, return uh, an array of integers where um, the first element is going to be uh, the first element is going to be uh, the sum, and also the second element is going to be the nodes count. Okay, so as I'm using recursion. Uh, I have to make sure that the recur recursion finishes. Now I'm going to return a new integer array, 0 and 0, because there's nothing here. I just, I just uh, landed on a leaf node, and then I tried going left or right. There's nothing here. And then uh, my recursion finishes here. Uh, if not, I'm going pre-order, I'm going to say left, pre-order root dot left, likewise integer, uh, array of integers, pre-order root dot right, okay? And now once the recursion uh, unwinds, so I'm going to land on my first node here as I'm going left first and right. Later on, I'm always going left first, so I'm here right now, as an example. Um, I have a variable called sum that's going to be uh, left zero plus right zero plus root dot val, uh, and that's going to be the number of nodes that's going to be left. 1 plus uh, right 1 plus 1. Remember that the subtree also contains the, the root, root node itself. So this is the case here. We're simply adding 1. And total uh, equals to sum divided by n. And here now we uh, do the check. If total equals to root dot val, then we found a candidate. Then we increment count. And the last step here is simply to return uh, a new integer, which is going to be uh, sum and n. So sum that's going to be the sum of all, all of that subtree. Okay. Let's uh, give it a try. Yeah, it works fine. Let me uh, let me try uh, that's the other input. So this is probably the first input. Yeah, let me try the second input. It's going to be one. Let's run the code. So should work as well. Okay, now we can try to submit our uh, solution. And yeah, that works pretty good. So that's a great runtime, so it's pretty fast. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this question. And please give me your like and also subscribe to the channel. So that helps us a lot. And please leave, uh, leave uh, any comments you guys um, think about. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.